the most challenging of the vaccine program is how you can predict the new virus to come and how you're going to design your vaccine good enough for the future virus. My name is Kiat Raksung Tham. I'm a professor of medicine. I'm the director of the COVID-19 vaccine development program of the Jula Vaccine Research Center at the medical school. Jula COP19 is one of the COVID-19 vaccine candidate uh, development in Thailand by our Jula Vaccine Research Center. This is based on mRNA technology platform. We contract out two US uh, CMO or manufacturer uh, to do a clinical lot for our clinical trial. We have finished phase one and phase two. Uh, the result look very impressive. The Thai manufacturer, in this case, uh, our partner is uh, BioNet Asia, based in Ayutthaya, also uh, complete the uh, manufacturing of the clinical lot. In short, we have the vaccine tested, and that's in US made. And now we are ready to test the Thai made vaccine for the clinical trial. It's when we start uh, our development. We start only one month behind Pfizer Moderna. At that time, we don't, no one know yet that whether the mRNA is going to, to work. We, we are a small research center, less funding compared to them. But we learned that this vaccine candidate in mice, in monkey, work very well. It's very strong immune response and safe. In our situation, we already have uh, infrastructure. We have some capability. We should try to make our own vaccine. To prove that this platform in Thailand, it works and safe. Now we plan to move on. We plan to start manufacturing second generation. Our own vaccine at the end is not for Thailand, but how we can be part of the major prayer to fight again any pandemics in the near future. So I think that's our goal. A lot of milestone has been reached. So the vaccine has been proven in human, phase one and phase two, safe and highly immunogenic. And the dose that we select for phase two and we finish it uh, has shown that it's comparable to approved vaccine like Pfizer. The high made vaccine already finished. Uh, and now we are waiting for the green light to do a clinical trial in Thailand and to confirm that whether that is uh, the safe and immunogenic. Uh, and then we can go further uh, for larger scale uh, study and get authorization for approval. So we have Omicron plus other valent vaccines. So we'll be bivalent, so two, two types of uh, valent in there. So Gen 2 probably we might be able to start phase one sooner. Uh, uh, by the end of the year, early next year, and then hopefully we will submit approval for Gen 2 uh, sometime next year. So that's the plan. But more importantly, we believe if the next pandemic for whatever virus or new variant from COVID come out, we can work, we can move faster than it used to be. Never before would I say that Thailand have three or four vaccine candidates get into clinical trial. Never before in the history, right? I hope that uh, with this phenomenon, uh, Thai government, big corporate uh, investor, you know, uh, we see in Thailand and may maybe in the region, we see this opportunity. Because if you want to grow this type of industry, you need money, investment, right? Commitment by the government, the policy. So I think it's an opportunity for Thailand to think seriously and plan seriously. My dream, but uh, people keep saying that this is uh, too idealistic, is that to be a social enterprise uh, company. You not aim for the big profit, but aim for sustainable and real impact. And that is the mission and philosophy of our medical school and Chulalongkorn University.